Hi, this is Brennan with My Service Depot. In this video, we're going to see how we can use Smart Service to batch invoices by job for jobs that occur over multiple dates but that require one invoice in QuickBooks. Let's take a look at how this works. In this example, I have a job that was originally scheduled for today, Friday. When I first created and scheduled this job and entered the job items to build a customer, I was going to use immediate invoicing from the invoice style to build a customer since I'd anticipated completing this job in one day. But let's say I find out that a part needs to be ordered before I complete, complete this job. So I need to schedule a return visit, but I don't want to do that just yet. Here's why. If I schedule my return visit and add my extra part to this job now, then when I complete it for Friday and possibly for this upcoming Monday, Smart Service will send out two invoices for both dates to QuickBooks. Why? Because this job is still set to invoice immediately, which creates an invoice for each date the job is posted to QuickBooks. This creates duplicate invoices in QuickBooks and bills the customer twice for one-time charges. I don't want to do that, so I'll use batch invoicing by job instead. Once I have the part, I'll go ahead and schedule a return visit by reopening the job. But before I schedule my next visit, I'll change my invoice style to batch invoicing by job from the dropdown. Next, I'll click the scheduling tab and then custom dates to choose this Monday for my return visit. Now I'll go back to job items by clicking on the job items tab. And then I'll click with the one item checkbox to the right of my job items so that these charges are billed only once to the customer. I'll also go ahead and click the complete button and then post to close out my work for today. So I've now scheduled my return visit and I have the part I needed to complete the job. When I reopen the job on Monday, I can see from the job items tab, when I click on it, that my first two items are no longer active, which means that they won't be charged to the customer a second time. I'll go ahead and add the part I needed to the items list using the binocular tool. And since my work for the job is now complete, I'll go ahead and click complete and then post to complete out this job. This takes us back to my job screen and I can see after I click post, the job is no longer active because the complete button is removed from the toolbar. Notice though, that if I go to this job in QuickBooks, there still is an, in an invoice in QuickBooks. So how do I invoice it? It's easy. Let's go back to Smart Service. Back in Smart Service, I'll click on Office and then from the Office screen, I'll click on Batch Invoices to QuickBooks. My multi-day job is now listed here. If I'd like, I can specify my invoice date here at the top. And I'll go ahead and click on Post to post this job over to QuickBooks. So my not job is now posted to QuickBooks. And if I go back to QuickBooks and open the invoice, I can see that not only are my job items built once, which is what I wanted, but also that the date for each charge is included in the description field as well as the job name for each item. I now have my completed invoices for the work order that I've done for this customer job, itemized by date. My job is completed in Smart Service, and I'm ready to invoice my customer. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com. 